thoughts I had such special needs. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! driving and I'm just extremely grateful for that it's up and running we still have some small issues like my fans aren't working we don't have water temperature we've got a boost leak and we just have to have to go through a couple of things but uh, yeah other than that everything's good that's been wrong with the car and that's been an issue that I need to sort out. Um, yesterday, yesterday I went and got myself a water temperature meter just to keep an eye on the on the water temp of things. I'm going to take you guys down and 
we're gonna get grafting. I'm gonna um, bring you guys along for the trip so I can solder all these wires and get that all sorted out and tidy up a few things and get that drilled out and made it make that nice and pretty. Uh, and then just, yeah, get to work and get to cracking and finish up this beast. I got this. But she has been running really well and everything's been going extremely, extremely good, funny enough. I don't see any major issues. The only the only reason why I'm not making any power is because of the wastegate that's actuated that's inside the turbo that's making me lose uh, boost. But yeah, this is the new filter that I got. I, I got the new one. So I'm just gonna get the bullet that I made that fits over the turbo there, over the fit, the, the inlet. This is gonna go over that and it's gonna sit something like that, something like that, not 100% because it's driving on a few things here. So there's going to be an issue, but I'm gonna see if I can't make a pan and get it bolted up like this. Get it bolted up like this so it works properly and stays uh, out of the way of everything. But I'll see, I'll make a pan, maybe I can do, maybe I can't. We'll just have to make a pan and see how it goes. But yeah, I'll give you guys an update as soon as we get there. Okay guys, so it started raining now as you guys can see. Uh, well, here obviously. But the uh, phone filter is on. Um, I don't think I put this in the time lapse, but I only used the metal reducer that I just sliced to make it expand and get over the clamp, the, the space that I made that fits onto the turbo. So that bolts to that, bolts to the turbo, so everything's nice and sturdy there. Nothing's come moving anyway. And and now I've got a filter on and it's not chafing anything, it's not touching anywhere, everything's got nice clearance. There's a slight gap in between there, but I know that doesn't touch. That's nice and sturdy. That's where we're at at the moment, so let's get cracking, get down to work and get this car sorted. Because she's going to make power soon and then we're going to get everything 100% and then we're going to take her for the dyno at the end of the month. I'm just addressing a few small issues with the car and seeing the bumper coming off but the reason for that is also I need to get to the sensor that I connected up here on the side of the radiator that's no need so um, I'm going to remove that there and move it to something I just recently got for the car uh, so this is the sensor I was talking about that sensor right there uh, I connected it up there but that, that was incorrect because that was this is the fan switch this is not the heat the temperature sensor I purchased this pipe yesterday, this um, sensor pipe bracket or whatever you want to call it and we drilled and tapped the M10 by one thread into the al aluminum casing just to make sure that we can get another sensor in there and it, it seems to be holding water perfectly fine everything will be cut out a piece of pipe just a, a little bit longer than this to make everything seat properly this is the one for the heat gauge, the, it is currently in my eyes I did something wrong so it's not picking up the correct temp uh, temperature signals but I'm going to address that now. Uh, I'm going to use this one for the ECU to get a heat sensor off just to get a cold start and to make sure that I can run the fan off of the relay. So let me get on to work and sort out all the wires and get that sorted and get the car 
to the point where I can start using it on a daily basis. I'm going to relocate the, the water temperature gauge to sit right here so it's going to be right in my line of sight it's not going to be out of place it's not going to be looking all the way down there at the center, con center console before I see anything it's going to be up here right in my line of sight by right by my ref count I'm going to see if I can't sort that out as well today um, and then the boost gauge will obviously be sorted out during the course of the day as well I just need to take this apart and put a, uh, a cable down the back of the nipple but yeah that's where we are right now I'm, I'm probably going to give you guys an update as soon as the the water temp sensor is up, well the water temperature gauge is up here by the cluster. So that from there to there, you a bit and see how it goes. So here we go.